What's going on everybody? It's Jumbo Slice 21 and today I have another tutorial for you guys in Photoshop. Now this is primarily going to be helping, well probably a lot of, a wide range, whoa, a wide range of people. Thank you very much for not being able to talk. But um, it's going to help a decent amount of people and mainly I can think of is like YouTube graphics and banners and stuff like that. But I mean you can use this for many different things. I want to talk to you guys about um, layer styles and the blending mode, stuff like that. Um, now basically, people's first instinct outside of Photoshop that have never used it before that want to make something for themselves, they're going to try to be like, alright, well, you know, I have these, these cool backgrounds, man, but I want this Call of Duty picture to go into it or whatever, so okay, opacity, oh, I know that that makes it like transparent, so let's turn that down. Oh man, that doesn't look, oh, see, it's going away now, oh man, that's exactly the problem. What you want to do, instead of doing that, is you want to go into where it says normal right here when you're in layers. And you're going to choose one of these. Now what I like to do is I just like to click one and then use the arrows on my keyboard to cycle through. And as you see already, it's maintaining the full color of the picture. But, you know, it's replacing some of it, letting that other image come through. And it makes for some nice effects and stuff. You can have, like, the texture on them. I probably wouldn't ever use this. But, you know, it gives for nice nice background type stuff that you can make and it's not just only one layer you can do this on multiple layers so if you remember this background here is black I mean black and red let's have some of that come through you can do the same exact thing to this to where you let the other stuff come through but you get the red and then you get the effect of that background as well now I can make for some cool backgrounds and stuff like that obviously this is just a demo this is just to show you that you should mess with the blending options and do things like that so hopefully this keeps that in mind next time you go to design something if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave them in the comment section below hope you enjoyed and hope this helped you and I'll see you guys next time